da, 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 da. Um, <clears throat> I think it's time to start the tier list. You guys better not get me sidetracked. What's my Tim's order? Uh, it used to be a medium regular, but I try to only drink cream now because cream has sugars in it naturally. So, I'm probably just going to go at this as this has it. Thank you, Radical Capital. Well, I rank the tour tracks, if they're included here. And they're not! This is not a complete list! How am I supposed to put this in my video when it's not a con it, it's not exhaustive! It doesn't have SNES or GBA courses. Wow. Well, the streamer... I, I'll show you what we're gonna do after. We're gonna do everything here, and then... Uh, I'll take it into Photoshop and then do the rest there. But a couple of notes, I think tour tracks are gonna be prioritized because they're already doing that. It seems mo porting them, and again, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, I actually don't give a shit. They're probably gonna choose to port them, so probably half of them are like tracks from 7 and tour. Just because it's probably easier, but then again, I don't know how easy it is to... It's probably a lot more work to go into, uh, older tracks like, what, Wii? Uh, GameCube, all that, it's probably way more work. So, I, I think they're going to include them, uh, but not on this list. So let's talk about, uh, Luigi's Raceway. What chances? What are the chances here? I mean, I'm fond of this track. Was it brought back already, though? I feel like it was brought back in, um, 7, wasn't it? Luigi's Way. <laughs> but the question to ask with about Luigi Raceway and all of the tracks in 7, as well as, not Tour, because Tour, I think, is gonna give them more chance. But if they appeared in 7, or any past game, are they going to include them again? Because, uh, you know, for example, DK Mountain appeared in Wii. Uh, will they do it again? I think it doesn't matter at this point, because they decided to put DLC in a game from the Wii U. So at this point, I don't really think they care, because more... Yeah, there's the, the old farts like me, but then there are, you know, kids, people who own a Switch who were born after, you know, GameCube and Wii came out, right? So to them, they're all retro tracks, so I don't really think it freaking matters if an N64 track appeared. I think this is more, not the first that comes to mind, but I wouldn't say no, so that's a very middle. Luigi Raceway is a very middle course. Uh, DK Jungle Parkway, that was also on the Wii, but I think they could do a lot to revolutionize it. Um, if you remember the ramp. <clears throat> If you remember the ramp, I think that could be a glide section, and they could even add an underwater section to where you, like, land, because, you know, there's water all around that course, and I think it would be really cool if you just went into the water for it, they changed exactly how far it was. I mean, they did that with, uh, Royal Raceway, too. No, they didn't. I'm full of shit. Well, but for DK Jungle Parkway, I would say, uh, decent chance. Blanche Boardwalk is already in Mario Kart Tour. <laughs> And I really love how they included the cartoony ghosts from Super Mario World. Yeah, I, I need to show you. I don't think everyone knows Mario Kart Tour. I mean, I don't very well. It's not in Tour? Well, then I'm thinking of Ghost Valley. Thank you. See, this is why you guys are helpful. Let's continue. Banshee Boardwalk, I think, would be a great choice. Uh, it has been brought back, hasn't it? Somewhere. No? I liked Banshee Boardwalk. Uh, would it be the first one that comes to mind? Definitely not. Mario Raceway. Just because we have Royal Raceway, and I don't know why I made this category so, like, petty. Like, no, please. With a dot, dot, dot. Um, I would say that is not really gonna offer much more that we already, uh, haven't seen with Royal Raceway. Royal Raceway? We already have Baby Pock, so I don't think we need Mario Waste. Okay, sorry. Well, now that everyone left the, the stream, let's continue. Wario war, 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 war Stadium. I have questions. While this is completely, like, a linguist- No, hey, don't choose the category before I set you down. While it's a complete ling linguistics thing, we already have a Wario Stadium, right? That one's called Wario Stadium from the DS in Mario Kart 8. However, because it would be like the same- it's the same thing. It's like the same shit. This one's just long, but I could not tell you what turn appears where on this track. There's like very little set pieces on Wario Stadium. I, I, I can't remember. Like, let me try and draw it for you. Here's the start line, and then I think you make a right turn, and then there's like a jump here, and then you do like something like this. All, whoop, you do this. Then all of this I don't really remember. And then there's like this part here that goes like this around because you can skip here. But I don't remember most of the cores. Like, but I know it's like long, and there's like jumpy jumps, and like, you know, Yoshi driving. But I don't remember most of the cores. It has not ever been remade. But has it ever not- never been ever not remade? 
Why would that know? And while you're right that it's never been remade, we have a Wario Stadium already in Mario Kart, which is like a shorter version, but the same concept of like the dirt bike stadium. And then we also have Wario or Waluigi Stadium or whatever it's called in Double Dash, which I think is a way better stadium course because it's really good. And then if we want to talk about a Wario named course, we have Wario Shipyard and Wario Coliseum, which I think are better than this one. I cannot, this one just looks cool. I'm going to put it in good chance because I've been peer pressured by chat. Yeah, Wario Stadium is already a Mario Kart 8, but it's not that one. That's, the, like, I had that sort of, like, Berenstain Bear moment. I'm like, wait, is it already in the game? What's everyone talking about? Everyone's like, please, put Wario Stadium! And I'm like, uh, guys, there's a whole Wario statue <laughs> right there. How many statues of Wario do you need? And he has a coal mine. He has a mine and a mountain, and you're like, no, no, he needs the stadium. So, that's, that's what I think about Wario Stadium. I have to remember to keep this on screen, too. Let's continue, huh? Uh, Bowser's Castle. This is one of my... Well, let me not pick it up. I love Bowser's Castle N64 so much. What is this song? Go away. I love it. I don't know. It's it's probably one of the most nostalgic Mario Kart tracks because I remember my cousin had Mario... Oh, no, wait. There was Mario Kart... I played Mario Kart 64 in everywhere but a home because it was at the shoe company, a shoe store close to where I lived, at the back for some reason. I mean, I guess for moms who wanted to try on shoes all day, they just throw their son there, and they're just playing Mario Kart, and that's where I play Bowser's Castle. And, I don't know, when it's on a small CRT, Bowser's Castle looks sick. Like, the neon red lava, it looks so cool and so dangerous, and man, I love it. <laughs> Bowser DS slander. But for chances, it's, uh, not the first that comes to mind, but I really love it. I would love to see it, but, uh, I think they're probably gonna add one other Bowser's Castle. They have to, right? What are they going to choose to do? Maybe something they can... It, it could be this one. It could be. I don't know how many they're going to add. I'm not counting here, but... Oh, at Calamari is just here. This was also in, um... Well, it's in Tour. This one is in Tour, right? This was in a recent one. Now my memory's failing me. So, I don't know if they'll put it in this one as well, because it doesn't really have much to add. That's my theory. So, I'm going to put it in... Where did I... Frappe? I like a Frappuccino from Starbucks, so you know what's going up here. Um, yeah, it's not the first that comes to mind. It was also in tour. Um, you're missing three other tracks. I didn't make the list, I just... Oh, wow, they're all here, aren't they? My visual... Moo Moo Farm is definitely not in this. Probably not in the game. Thank you, guys. Thank you for, like, double-checking me, because I'm like, uh, I don't see anything. This is why I am thankful I have, like, because my sister will be like, I can't see it! And she's like, it's right here. All the time. All the time. Anyways, um, you already got Moo Moo Meadows! You don't need a farm! Like, they're so much happier in the meadow. In a farm, they're contained, you know? Like, they don't get as much free roam, but in a meadow, those cows can live their cow lives. So... I'm much more for the meadows than the farm. I don't really know what it could add because Moo Moo Farm is just a circle with Monty Moles. And that's like, are we really that big on the mole? Koopa Troopa Beach is also in tour. Uh, but I think they could, I think this one has, out of all of these, does it have more? Mm, yeah, kind of has the underwater it could do. Oh, did I put this in, Frappe Snowland is in tour. This is no way in hell. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, Frappe Snowland, that's not a no no way, no how. It's also in 7? Oh, damn. Okay, so boom, there we go. Now are we done? There's a lot of these down here I'm excited to get to. I'm looking at them, I'm like, oh, on oh, Sherbert Land. I love Sherbert Land. That was last time in Wii. They're probably not going to double up on, like, th or triple, right? Like, because it's hard to have many themes. They just brought back, what, um, the starting track from Mario Kart 7 with the giant blow-up toad. No comment. Uh, and that's in the first booster pack. Would I say that's a unique concept? No, but whatever, I guess. They're bringing it back. I don't know what they could do with Sherbert Land that wouldn't already have been done. It's not really a no, please. Okay, now let me look at this. Let me see if I agree with this still. Good chance, yeah. Banshee Boardwalk, but Sherbert Land, uh, I still like that. For these ones, am I like, no, I don't really want it. This is more like a no, please. If I had to choose all of, all of these, what, 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 Luigi Raceway. 
Sorry. I didn't mean to ASMR there. Why is his song playing? God, he's, he's willing it into existence. Luigi Circuit from the GameCube. I don't think they're going to bring on the circuit tracks as much as they have, and I feel like this first booster pack is probably going to have the most basic ones. And it sort of does. Um, because we have... I I'm surprised they even add the Mario Kart 7 one. Uh, but do I think they're gonna add Luigi Circuit? It's kind of nothing. It's not really much. It's a figure 8. I like it. It's not the worst, but you know... I'm gonna have to say no way. Peach Beach. Mm, I like Peach Beach, don't get me wrong, and I think they could add a lot with the underwater segment because there's that whole ass underwater area right there, and I think that could be just like very interesting for this track. But do I think there are better tracks that could do what Peach Beach is doing? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, folks. Peach Beach? I'm gonna say no. Mario Circuit? Which one's this again? This was on Wii, yeah. Right? Am I having brain rot? <laughs> I think it was on the Wii. <laughs> it was somewhere. It's an alright track. It doesn't really do much. There's so many Peach's Castle tracks already, so I'm gonna have to go with no, please. Daisy Cruiser, please. It was in 7, and I don't think it was on Tour, but for what it added from 7, I'm like, yo, come on. That was a good track. Daisy Cruiser is always a, a good time. It's got the swimming pool. I just think the concept is really unique. And that's one of those where I'm like, yeah, that has to, that has to be good. It has to be. It's Data Mind in Tour. Waluigi Stadium. Man, this is getting a little biased already. Uh, I think this one is cool. But, to me, it's like Wario Stadium or Waluigi Stadium. So I'm going to put this as not the first that comes to mind. But I could see them... Wario Stadium has it's just like a blank slate, right? And the reasons I like Waluigi Stadium are the things it adds. Like the fire hoops. That's in the one on... That's already in the one Wario Stadium in Mario Kart 8. I cannot form a sentence because of all of the Warios and Stadiums and Waluigi's. It's just like all the same shit. They're stadiums with fire rings and, and weird shit you have to jump through. A Waluigi Stadium has the piranha plants. It's got mud. Everyone loves the mud. Mushroom City. Okay, like... Now we're getting into the city courses. I really like Mushroom City. Although, it's not the first one I think of when I think of Mario Kart Double Dash. It's not the first one I think of, and because they're adding a lot of tour tracks, which are effectively cities, I'm gonna have to side on the side of no? Yeah. Right? That's that's good logic. Uh, where were we? Oh. Pfft. Come on. DK Mountain's in in my brain. It, if it's not in, this is one of those where I'm like, yeah, Pac-Man's gonna be in Smash 4, I have no question about it, and I'm right. That's how I feel about DK Mountain. In its Wii iteration, it was just a ported map, so it hasn't really gotten the flair that I think it deserves. I think they could add everything. I don't know where they put an underwater section, honestly, but, uh, like, come on, they could- there's a lot of, um, uh, potential. Instead of that bridge chasm, they could have it be a, a glider section. Uh, and I just love the hairpin turns on, the, on that map. I love that mountain so much, man. That mountain changed. That mountain made boys into men. Sounds data mind. Oh. Well then, it's like DK Mountain's ma data mine, and it's just like some other mountain, and they're like, yeah, we just called it DK Mountain, it was funny. Alright, let's move on. Wario Coliseum, that's a good chance in my brain, even though there's a lot of Wario going around, I mean. There's only so many names for courses, that they're gonna run into this problem in the booster pack anyways, right? Like, in my brain they are, like, Wario Coliseum. Wait, am I so sure on it though? There, it's sort of like Wario Stadium where it's a blank slate, they could really do anything. So I don't know. Anyways, Dino Dino Jungle, I'm pretty sure is confirmed, right? It was data mined for what? Or is it already in, uh... I think we're already all pretty much on the boat that Dino Dino Jungle was confirmed by the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, Booster Course Pass Trailer. Confirm- okay. Gonna look like Dino Dino Jungle, DK Mountain, Daisy Cruiser, Mushroom Bridge, and Waluigi Stadium because those are data mined for tour. I didn't know they were data mined for tour! It's on the ads. I did not know that it was dad of mind. I'm not on the internet all the time, so I couldn't know that at all. I did not know that, so maybe this is fine just to put it at the top. I don't give a shit. Um, Bowser's Castle GameCube. I love it. It just has so many... Uh, does it have iconic set pieces, or am I just... It has the Bowser shooting fireball at you, but I could be talking about two Bowser castles at this point. 
what happens in the middle of that track? You go over like fire, you go up a ramp, you go around a twisty thing, you go outside the castle. I like that there's like both inside and outside, but I don't know. This is not the first that comes to mind for sure. Sorry, Rainbow Road. I was gonna put Coconut Mall because I'm just thinking, but this is my favorite of the Rainbow Roads here, I think. Hmm. I don't even remember DS. 3DS is pretty good too. It's not the first that comes to mind. I'm gonna put it here for now. Wii Rainbow Road also is one of the... Mm, I don't really know. Oh, figure eight track. That's next, I guess. Unless some that were just hidden down here. Nope. Okay. Figure eight circuit is like the best track. It has everything. Um, an eight. It goes around. I don't even think it has much ramps or shortcuts. I think it's like the most basic track in Mario Kart. Probably. Luigi's Raceway is better than this track. But that's because it's Luigi. Like, it's Luigi. This is nobody track. This is nobodyville. It's in Brawl. Huh? Yoshi Falls? I think is gonna be in it. I have a really good feeling Yoshi Falls is gonna be in it. I love Yoshi's Falls. I think it's gonna be like the first one of a cup. They're gonna do some shit where you can drive on the sides. I don't know. Yoshi's Fall... Yoshi Falls is not the most crazy track, but that's what it's good at. It's a very basic track, but it's a very good basic track. It's not a raceway. It's got a unique water theme. I think they could pull a lot of ideas out with this one. So, it is just in fact a circle. However, that circle does numbers. In fact, it does 360 degrees of numbers. It's got ramps, it's got water. I think they're probably gonna do the same thing they're doing with um, Shroom Ridge where you drive on the side of the wall. I don't know. Anyways, Cheap Cheap Beach. Uh, that one's definitely never gonna be in the game. Uh, why would they ever include Cheap Cheap Beach in Mario Kart? Because that is not a very unique course. Um, Luigi's, come on. Luigi's Mansion has to be. Is it not in tour? It's pretty sure it's in tour. Yo, that swamp segment, there were sh if you go and, um, if you data mine the files, which has been done by a few, uh, savvy Mario Kart DS fans, as a small community, um, and if in the data mined files of that swamp segment, uh, on rare occurrences on the third lap, and you have to be in seventh place, uh, within the swamp, there's a texture hidden behind the map, so you won't see it during a regular race. But behind the bordering wall is actually Shrek's outhouse. Anyways, Desert Hills. Uh, so they, what? They have the Mario Kart Double Dash Desert Track already included in base game Mario Kart 8. We have Cheese Land, which is the most you'll ever get me to enjoy cheese, because they, I'm so surprised that I'm like, this is Cheese Land. How do they get this much of a good track at a Cheese Land? I don't know. I love I love Cheese Land. So I don't know if we're going to have more deserts. And Desert Hills doesn't really do anything unique. So I'm going to say no way in hell. Delfino Square. <sighs> I really like Delfino Square. It was brought back on the Wii, as we know. That doesn't really matter, to me at least. I think it would be really cool to have a Delfino Square. Uh, those Piantas are already in uh, the game on the... Um, I know they're on Sunshine Airport or whatever the map's called. I think Delfino Square is just a really good, unique track for them to bring. I think they could also do a lot with it, with the, the new mechanics. Even if they don't, whatever. I, I think it would be a fun one. Delfino Square, I think I'm gonna put in good chance. I love that. I didn't even need to say it. Waluigi Pinball. Um, I've heard people say that it's overrated. I don't think you'll even understand how overrated it's gonna be when it's already in. If you thought it was popular, it is so good. This track is amazing. It's the f the song is fire. The track idea is absolutely awesome. It was the precipice of tracks. Uh, I don't know if it's the magnum opus, but I think they could do a lot with Mario Waluigi Pinball to make it uh just incredible. Shroom Ridge is already in the game, so we don't have to consider DK Pass is in um tour. So that puts it already at the top. Oh no, that was my first online Mario Kart track. I remember. <laughs> we have to pay for a DK Pass too. Um, DK Pass I think is likely. Of course, for its tour privileges. Uh, it's already been remade there, so they may as well bring it back. 
Mario Circuit. Um, whatever. I've had shits more entertaining than Mario Circuit. All right, Airship Fortress. Uh, but this was a great track. I I really thought it was cool. Yeah, Airship Fortress. I think this is a good one to take from the uh, Cloud Top Cruise. Is that the name of the Rosalina one where she was debuted in that one with the Great Gusty Garden remix? Uh, and the shit where you, if you get knocked out of the way, you fall, and then Lakitu takes you for like 10 years back to like 12. Uh, Airship Fortress, though, it reminds me of that one. I think it's just a cool idea, right? Like the Mario 3 ships, that's just dope. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in good chance. Peach Gardens. Oh, I like Peach Gardens, actually. It's not the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> It's not the first that comes to mind, but I kind of really want to say it has a good chance, but I don't know. Um, okay. Bowser's Castle DS. Uh... I don't think so. I don't think so. Not really. No. 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 I don't know. I don't remember this one. The Quickness. Oh, hey, cat. What's up? Alright, bye. I got to see the cat donation. They added a really cool part to the Airship Fortress in Tour that's basically a parlor full of Shy Guys. I didn't know it was in Tour. Tour? The Shy Guys drink? They're drinking milk! Um, alright. Luigi Circuit Wii... Uh, you're gonna have to say no way in hell. Nope. I don't think they're gonna do it. I just don't think it's, uh... I don't think we need it. I think we got a mansion. Luigi's got some tracks, doesn't he? Does he? Could he? Hmm. I forget. I know they're not, like, enough tracks for a tour. I, th I think they're gonna pull a lot. I'm just reading your message in my brain. The data mine DS courses for Tour is Yoshi Falls, as it already confirmed Shroom Ridge. I think the rest will be made up of four courses already in Tour. Luigi's Mansion, DK Pass, Waluigi Pinball, and Airship Fortress. His words, not mine. Dino Dino Jungle. This is what I hear before I fall asleep. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm cool with this list. Let's continue. Mushroom Gorge. This was brought back in what? It was brought back in 7. I've played it recently, right? Right? You guys will tell me if I'm wrong. It's either Tour or Seven. So maybe Mushroom Gorge won't be in Switch, but I feel like these are both Mario Karts. I feel like they're gonna add it at some point. So I'm gonna say, good chance. Toad's Factory, oh my God, please. I love Toad's Factory. Oh my God. I don't know why I like Toad's Factory so much. It, the song is just absolutely insane, that's why. Yeah, this remix would be amazing because this song is already so good. So, uh, Toad's Factory, I, I mean, I said this was going to be me predicting, but Toad's Factory has to come back. Um, let's continue. Mario Circuit again, and again, I'm going to say no. I don't even need to think about it. I'm all about the Donkey Kong. We have the DK Mountain, DK Pass, and I'm going to say DK Summit. This is more turning into my own personal bias here, but, um, yeah, like, look at this bias. All the Mario Karts I played as a kid. Yeah, definitely. But I'm gonna go over it again later. Um, Daisy Circuit. Oh my god, I love Daisy Circuit. I just don't know if it's going to be, uh, the first one they choose. Because we have a lot of city courses in tour, and uh, I don't know what Daisy Circuit really changes other than, you know, we have Toad's Harbor. I, I don't know. And if they do do, uh, Delfino Square, for example. Anyways, uh, continuing, Koopa Cape, I think, is just ripe, like, just perfect for the pickings of this game. It's just a perfect choice. It's, I think, got a lot of potential. I know it's like, oh, water, you think it's gonna be in? Yes, H2O. H2, go away, alright? But I really liked Koopa Cape. I thought it was such a unique concept. The underwater could actually just be turned into an underwater segment, like, full stop. Uh... Who knows? But uh, I think it's a cool concept, and I think I just always that's a track I think of when I think of Mario Kart Wii. Dry, dry ruins. Uh, same sort of logic. It's not the first one that comes to mind, but I like it over um, Desert Hills. Uh, we already have a lot of desert, so I don't really foresee us having more. I think dry, dry ruins. It could do it could do something cool. I think because you go inside the temple, and yeah, we have swamp ruins, whatever. Um, and that sand mechanic where it changes over each lap. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, glider section at the end. Uh, you do go over a little bit of water at the beginning of the track. And they could change it from a bridge to like you actually just go in the water. 
Maybe even that ruins, it floods instead of sand. That could be cool as well. Uh, so yeah, I would, I'm gonna say good chance. Moonview Highway, as much as I really love it, again with my logic of like, I don't even want it to be no please, just like no. There's like Shroom Ridge, there's a bunch of city tracks, it just doesn't feel like they'd choose it. But I could be wrong, I, I totally could be wrong here. Yeah, you know, the Wii lineup, it's just like so hard because they, I know the Wii's like one of everyone's most well-known Mario Karts, but then now I think 8 surpassed it, right? So, I just don't know that they're gonna, <laughs> I think they're gonna put a lot, but they seem to be pretty even in the first two, uh, the first four, or the first eight, wow. <laughs> Words. I have a lot of work to do, but uh, let's get through this. The Bowser's Castle for the Wii, I must say not the first that comes to mind. Because the one on... the, the I just don't think so. The one we have in Mario Kart 8? I don't know. Anyone else agree with that? Like, it's a cool concept. I don't. I like the Bowser Castle, but I just don't know what they're going to add. And then Rainbow Road for the Wii, as much as I like it... Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to do this. I think Rainbow Road Wii, I'm going back on what I said, I think it's more iconic than Rainbow Road GameCube. Uh, is it more than, because I think the best one is the one from 3DS. That one's fire. That one's just the most interesting. Ah, I think I'm good here. I'm going to take it into Photoshop after we get to the 3DS tracks. Alpine Pass, isn't this like tall, tall mountain or whatever? I guess it's a different title. <laughs> rainbow Road was literally just a road that was rainbow. You shut up! Daisy Hills? I mean... I don't think it's like the most creative, crazy, awesome track, but it's got a chance, right? It's in tour. Well, I mean, if they're gonna add everything that's in tour, then... Alright, we'll put in a good chance. I think that's... I, I, I think a little more strongly than Daisy Hills and Peach Gardens GK. Yeah, yeah, I feel stronger before that. Cheap Cheap Lagoon, I don't know, I just feel like it's a very definitive... I feel like it could be done in 8 again, because it's the underwater shit. Uh, let me ch let me see here, let me see. Um, Rock Rock Mountain, although I'm not a fan of the name, I think this one has a good chance. I think it's just one of the coolest maps on the 3DS, and it could be done a lot. <laughs> Cheap Cheap Lagoon is Diet Dr. Sh Dr. Shoals, Dr. Shoals. God, I didn't mean to even joke like that. <laughs> Alright, you've made some arguments for Cheap Cheap Lagoon. I'ma put it in not first comes to mind. Shy Guy Bazaar? Ah, uh, we already have the Toad Harbor and it kinda has a bizarre thing. I'm gonna put this in not first that comes to mind, but it could, right? I don't know. Woohoo Loop! And Maki, Maka Woohoo. Maka Woohoo! As for which one I think Jagger Bazaar is in tour, 100% in. Damn, they just put all of them. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. Wait, no, Woohoo Loop is a definite yes. Maka Woohoo is like a good chance. So guys, my most popular choice is going to be Rosalina's Ice World. Rosalina's my top tier waifu because she's the hottest of the princesses of the Peach family. Okay, but actually, uh, I think Rosalina Ice World has a good chance. This song plays in my head when I receive my popcorn from the movie theater and they're saying, Have a good movie, and I go, You too. I just think it's so funny, it's called Rosalina's Ice World. Like, the most li Rosalina's Cold Plays. Mario Circuit's kind of really boring. How many times- I guess we never go in the castle, right? That's some crazy interior decorating, but I'm gonna say no. Wario Shipyard, I'm gonna say yeah, that's a cool ass map, all right? I think it's it's definitely gonna, it, it just needs that glow up on the Switch. Oh, we only have two left. All right, Bowser's Castle 3DS. I, wow, I can't even remember what happens. Uh, I don't, I, I'm just gonna say no. This is like, I really can't remember. Oh, never mind. This one was actually kind of cool with the gliding sections. Both are basically confirmed. Oh, well, um, my ass is grass, clearly. Alright, give me a hot second, folks. It's gonna get a little scary for a second. I'm still here. Alright, we're here. In Photo Land. So we just don't have Super Mario Kart and Super Circuit. I don't think, uh, Peach Circuit is of the highest likelihood. Look at me trying. Why do I even bother? 
is of the likeliest. I don't know what it plays like, but I don't think we really need to know what any of these plays like. I just think it's more, like, more so concepts that are unique to Mario Kart. Although I wonder how unique they could be, right? And maybe even a Bowser's Castle. Because they could just kind of do whatever they want with it. So, here's what I'm going to do. Oh my god. Is the resolution here horrible, or is it just me? I just want to make sure I'm getting through all these. I know you can't see. I'm, I'm at the wiki, and I'm just looking through all of their courses. I like ghosts. They're scary. It's like, ah, I'm scared. Look at those ghosts. What am I going to do? I'm so scared of them. They're like, boo. And I'm like, ah, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? You know you know what I'm saying? I'm a Don't haunt me. Don't haunt me. I'm afraid of you. Now I have to put in work, so I can't be as stupid. I have to actually, like, all right, here's the wiki, and I got to go back, and I go, where's the track I got to find? But I think Vanilla Lake has a goodish chance. Why not? Vanilla Lakes are just circles. I know, but like it's like every cup has like an easy one, right? Like that's being like, why would they add Baby Park? I guess the seven laps, right? That's just it's Baby Park, you know. There's Choco Island. Let me just throw it on. Mario Circuit, I think, is already in. Donut Plains is as well. I got a Choco Island, uh, Mario Circuits, I, I mean, do I think they're gonna put Mario Circuit? I don't know. Cheap Cheap Island, uh, oh wow, oh damn, wow, this place is kinda sick! Wow, shit, this place is kinda cool! Sunset Wilds, like, I've been seeing, I've seen a few videos about Mario Kart thoughts, but Sunset Wilds looks pretty cool. Oh my god, it's over, what do we do? I forget what the shortcut is, but I always hit it. Oh, there we go, I press G, Control G. Sorry. Sorry about the resolution. I don't know why it's doing that. Cheap Cheap Island? I, uh, I don't know. It's got a good chance. As much as any other. There's already other water levels, but this could... It's a decent chance, but not my top, so I'm just gonna throw it here. Boo Lake. What the heck's a Boo Lake? Good chance. Peach Beach. Sir. Peach Beach is where it belongs. It's right here. These are these are Twitch viewers, by the way. Am I wrong? That's like water. Oh no, there's stars. Oh, there's Bowser's Castle from. Oh, that's cool. That could be a cool like thing they could add on top. Well, I don't think it's the top choice. Uh, it's just as much. It's just as much a choice as anything. All right, I think that's it. If you have anything, oh tour tracks. Thank you. I did forget. He did forget. Guys, guys, he did forget. I think they're all gonna be in it. This is kind of boring, don't you think? Can I just do this? I just copy and pasted all of them. So, just because I got lazy. Perfect. All done. <laughs> um, actually, well, just in case you don't know, I meant just a little bit. Like, um, all of these, these ones are supposed to be over here. Understand? These ones are supposed to be over here. Do you understand? Yeah, I, ha I share the sentiment where it's like, it's kind of sucky that they're not new tracks, but since I don't play Tour, they're all effectively new tracks to me that I'm going to get to play in a Mario Kart 8 setting. So, it doesn't really bother me, It would it's just new shit. And I know a Mario Kart 9 would also kind of be great, but I can't deny that Mario Kart 8 is one of like the most... Uh, it's like one of the tightest Mario Karts in every way. Just the gameplay is actually really fun. It's not, there's nothing that's crazy broken, but I feel like everything's balanced super well. That makes sense. It's very fun. It's like, I think the most definitive Mario Kart experience. So I might post this later. I'm <laughs> just like, these are all probably gonna be in. God, how would I pick between all of these wonderful tracks? Cookie Land, let's go! <laughs> Cookie Land, let's go! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Cookie Land, yeah! Woohoo! Let's go! Um, can someone clip that? <laughs>